New research reckons Earth birthed the moon. Ever wondered how the moon got up there? The most prominent lunar formation theory holds that the moon was formed when a Mars-sized object named Theia hit Earth billions of years ago. A cocktail of rock and metal erupted from both celestial bodies, mixing together to birth the moon. New research posits that a collision with something did occur, but instead created a giant donut-like spinning mass of vaporized rock called Synestia. Researchers believe the moon was fashioned inside this, potentially over hundreds of years by atmospheric pressure, extreme heat, and rock. And then it just sort of popped out. Earth's natural satellite. Anybody up for some lunar cave diving? Scientists this week may have come across something that could lead to the first ever human outpost in space. A large and cavernous lava tube was this week confirmed to exist beneath the surface of the moon. These tubes are volcanic underground passages formed by flowing lava to funnel this substance. Once the flow stops, the tube remains with features similar to a cave. The discovery was made by a team of Japanese and American scientists who used data from the Selene and Grail spacecraft to acoustically map the enormous lava tube. The chasm is around 100 meters wide and 50 kilometers long and located in the Marius Hills region of the celestial body. It could provide shelter to astronauts during moon missions, protecting them from dangerous cosmic radiation. This could potentially allow for the development of a lunar exploration base. And that moon-based Homo sapiens could very well lead to a human colony. We're going back to the moon. Aerospace companies United Launch Alliance and Bigelow Aerospace are collaborating to put a space station in orbit around the moon. The Lunar Depot plan is aimed at placing a Bigelow B330 inflatable habitat in low lunar orbit by the end of 2022. ULA's Vulcan rocket will launch the B-330 into lower Earth orbit, where it will stay for about a year. While there, the habitat will receive supplies and get crew members rotated every few months. Two more Vulcan rockets will then be launched and their upper stages left in orbit. After propellant from one stage is transferred to the other, the fully fueled stage will attach the B-330 and propel it to its final position orbiting the moon. The companies claim the habitat can serve both as a platform for lunar business development and a location for NASA to conduct exploration and astronaut training missions. The U.S. and Russia are going to build an epic space base. The Deep Space Gateway. That may sound like some sort of science fiction fantasy, but it could soon be science reality. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos has signed an agreement to work on a new space station near the moon. The proximity of the Deep Space Gateway to the Moon would create opportunities for lunar missions and future deep space exploration, such as missions to Mars and beyond. Space agencies from Japan, Europe and Canada are also interested in working on the project that is currently at the conceptual stage of design. Once complete, NASA says it hopes to use the base to extend the presence of humanity in the solar system. NASA locates missing Indian spacecraft. Launched in October 2008 on a two-year mission, India lost track of its first-ever lunar probe, the Chandrayaan-1, after 312 days. Its whereabouts remained unknown until last July, when NASA scientists located it. To search for the missing probe, NASA sent microwave beams from a 230-foot antenna at their Goldstone Observatory in California. These microwave beams were trained on the moon and the spacecraft's predicted orbit over the lunar North Pole. The Chandrayaan-1 passed through the beam and bounced back radio echoes that were received by the Green Bank Radio Telescope in West Virginia. The space agency reckons the same tracking method may have potential use in future robot and human missions to the moon.